Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. For designers that are both hand and machine knitters, the Graphics Studio can be used to convert your own pictures and photos into usable stitch patterns. It will also convert black and white line drawings. For machine knitters, a useful part of this program section is the conversion of charts from magazines and punch cards. Today we'll be discussing how to convert machine knit punch cards into stitch patterns using the Graphics Studio section of the program. This means that you can convert your punch card and magazine charts into individual stitch patterns ready to lay out on your garment piece. The, we're going to go to the last of the five separate sections shown here. This is Design Graphics Studio. In order to get a punch card into the computer, you first need to convert your punch card into a computer file. Take your punch card, lay it face down on your scanner bed of your computer, cover the punch card with a piece of black paper so the holes in the punch card will scan in black. Scan in this design and save this as a graphic file. The conventions in a new session of DesignNet is that it looks first in the documents slash my pictures folder. If you open any graphic from any other folder, that folder will then become the default folder for subsequent opens and saves. Let's select a basket weave punch card. I'm going to use this button here to bring up the thumbnails and I'm going to bring up this punch card. I need to use my minus magnifying glass to zoom out so that I can see the entire image. We're going to say image and type and this needs to be a black and white diagram because we only have two colors in this design. OK to continue. The next thing to do is to turn the grid settings button on. And we're going to say here that this is a punch card 24 stitches wide, 48 rows high. Let's say the grid corners move independently in case the scan isn't quite straight. Let's say OK to continue. We can turn the graphic view grid on. And we can see that these lines don't line up with the punch card lines. So if we said view preview here, this is what it would look like translated. And that's not what we want. Let's turn the preview off. And why is this happening? This is because the graphic is selecting between the edge and the edge of the graphic and not the edge and the edge of the punch card. So we can grab this with a mouse and we can move this edge corner into position. I can also use arrow keys to fine tune it and you can see here how it has come into position. You can use my tab key to move to the next active corner and then my arrow keys to zoom in. I find that I use my tab key and my arrow key much more than I use my mouse tab to go to the next corner. You can tell it's the left hand corner because it's in open box. This looks pretty good. So let's do this preview conversion again. And yes, this is exactly what we want. Everything lines up, so let's turn the preview off and let's say OK to continue. It says the settings can be saved for up to 25 image files. Save this settings. We're going to say yes. And this is because it saves the image placement of the grid lines for this and it saves a graphic palette for, for your graphic. Yes to continue. I'm going to be knitting this on a brother. Here it is. A brother KH260. It's going to be knit in Fair Isle and I'm going to say OK to continue. And now I have my, my basket weave pattern ready to go. Thank you.